Yeah. Hug it out. Yes. Hug it out. Yes. I mean, it's awesome to be like merged and to have made like have made it this far. I'm so excited. And is there room for one more? Kid. Oh my God! Shocker! <laughs> Holy <laughs> twist! What a twist! Corey won the Outcast twist. Is now back in the game as the 13th person. Amazing. I love Corey. Um, I'm really happy he's here. I'm nervous because a lot of people think his social game is really good and might want him out sooner than later. We are merged at 13. Charlie also became the first member of the jury because out of pre-jury he had raised the most. I'm super excited. You know, I've played a bunch of these games like online and I've honestly been always like third voted off. So like for me to make a merge is like huge. I've always wanted that. So, so yeah, with that being said, okay. um, just a friendly reminder, Paula, your advantage has expired. Caitlin, your advantage has also expired. And Rob, your advantage has expired, so. I'm feeling very, very vulnerable because um, I don't know where my old team sits and who they've aligned with. And I really don't know the other players. I'm the people with advantages, I'd say all of them, um, all three. It's, I don't know, you, you have a majority with a common bond that they didn't have that. And for some reason when people have shared characteristics, they become part of a group and it's easy to pick on a group. All these, you know, people with advantages, you can kind of lump them together. And everyone's always just, you just don't want it to be you. So you can lump in this group and say, yeah, let's go after those guys. That being said, there's a merch feast with pizza and Gatorade over here. And you guys can just give us a couple minutes and then make your way over. That was Even with the immunity, I didn't stop playing. I played and I played hard, but we'll see. I mean, I'm nervous because now it's uh, every man for himself. should go back in and you couldn't vote for yourself. Is that why you never saw nobody out here? Yeah. Possibly. Because I'm like, why did everybody just leave? Yeah. Just disappeared. Yeah. No, you guys were like sequestered. So we were sequestered like yeah. way out in the like hot sun. That's good. And then it was, I mean it was optional, so from the first vote. But it was optional. If you wanted to go, you could go and have the chance. We didn't know what the comp was to come back. It was just a vote. Did everybody stay though? Um, Jordan and Karen didn't stay. Everyone else was also there. Uh, so Corey's back. I'm um, not exactly too excited to see him, as he's probably not too excited to see me. Uh, I was the one that constructed his blind side that got him out of the game. Um, I told him and everyone else that I was going to vote with them to get out Andy, and Andy ended up playing an idol, and then Andy and I voted for Corey and took him out. It was pretty sick. I was pretty happy. But I feel like I do have a huge target on my back because of that. Dig in. 
Yeah. That's not even real. It's not. You get it open. <laughs> open it, open it then. Take it to work and rock. Yeah. It's not even real. Oh my god. This is oh my god. not real. <laughs> oh my god. This is beautiful. Yeah, it is. So I opened my pizza. Well, first, we got to the table where the feast was happening, and everyone grabbed seats like in the middle, which makes total sense. They want to talk to people, um, be in the conversation. And so the last seat was at the very end, like the head of the table. I went there. I was so exhausted and tired, I'm slowly opening it and there's a piece of paper that says, all I saw was like merge immunity. And I slowly folded it, put it in my pants, and I don't think anybody saw me. <clears throat> Basically what it says is at the first um, tribal of the merge, I have to walk in last into tribal. And if I can do that, I'm safe. Cheers! 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 Hey, we merging, baby! Woo! Let's go! I was really excited to get to the merge, um, so my feelings on that are excitement. Um, I didn't think I'd make it this far. I don't know, I didn't have incredible expectations. I'm just happy I got here. Oh. I literally was like on my yeah. deathbed. Just, I feel I'm super happy to be here. Um, uh, it's it, just exciting to be a part of it. Mm. Ask these guys. Yeah. You should have seen our camp. Yeah. We were all laying on the tarp like. Come on. I feel bad. Is heart always your heart rate at 128 or something? 130. Were you the medical? From what? 130. From a comp? No, just after. Oh, just, just chilling. Mm -hmm. oh, that's yeah. probably not good. Did you have to go no. medical? I just laid down and. <laughs> how you so you were at our camp? Yeah, how was excellent. Feeling too too down today. It was you know a little tired, but uh, kept well hydrated. But the food definitely did help. Because we didn't know if Charlie was really living with us or not. Yeah, he blindsided me at, at our camp. That's what I heard. That's well, he I lied was. and said that it was him and Daniel. And then, uh, and then he admitted that it was actually you. Once he got yeah. over to Outcast camp, yep. he, mm -hmm. he confessed to Daniel that it was him who betrayed him. Yeah. And then he gave up to me. He said, oh, it's all about the enemies. But give me a break. I mean, I think I've just been worried completely since coming back into the game. I mean, being voted out was not fun. And yeah. I just, I want to make sure what he says is going to happen, happens. Because if it doesn't, we're, right. yeah. But like, I mean, if it doesn't, like, I have your dad. I think Corey seems pretty open right now. Um, yeah, so I've been trying, or I've talked to him once. Maybe two. For sure. Well, oh, yeah. yeah. So, so, Brandon likes travels at 3 a.m. Yeah. Point of yeah. That's true. We yeah. might have a competition. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. We might not be sleeping. <laughs> yeah. Which probably be fine because I don't know how long it's gonna be. I know. <laughs> I don't either. Yeah. We spread out. We just got we yeah. down to the Honestly. final three. So so I had to intermix myself, but you can tell that. Um, it's a, uh, Calhoun, the one, the red team, they're all back together. It's like their little families back together, and I totally get it. I would love, love to partner up with Rob, but I don't know if they'll take one more. So at this point, I don't know where I stand, but I have talked to everybody that is here, so I somewhat feel um, comfortable that. That was crazy how that all shook out. Oh my gosh! I opened it. It's out of the floor four and the one and I was very nervous and then I think it's for great. <laughs> like that? The one? 
She was when we swapped one, tribes, oh. I was one and my whole tribe went. Yeah. Oh, okay. Did, did you hear about the first thing? We talked about it. You were at your tree. I was like, was that an exile? And then you were dying at your tree with this one of the community. So it worked. But did you hear about the advantage? Dude, I got to sit in the tribal and I, and like as I was walking in and I saw that red was coming in. No, the, she's gone. <laughs> oh, like, and then no. she came in. And I was like, I was like, what is she like? She's going to the bathroom. Yeah. Like, Hanging out with them. Three, four, five, six, six. and then, and then all of a sudden, someone's like, advantage, and Janicky's in. I was like, oh. they told me I wasn't allowed to like react, but I was like, oh. <laughs> I've been talking with a million different people, and I feel like there's a pretty solid alliance between red and black. Um, so we're trying to figure out who to vote out on blue. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, he's gonna go back, back to red. So how many other? There will be five of them. So that's why he was kind of when he saw that Danny got voted out, he was like, "Oh crap," because he thought you know his numbers were going down, which they were at the time. And if we were able to build our numbers up to seven to five, even if we lost the challenges or lost the you know individual immunity, we could still. Take him out. Like I can see Josh and the girls. I don't know. I really don't know. Like I can see them working together, and I know Rob would be in that because Rob's name was brought up to me in that. Um, we figured we were gonna have the numbers seven, you know, seven to five. But then Corey got back in. That was a big twist. So if he was to go with them, it would not be good for us. We could, you know, potentially get ourselves voted out. So right now it's it's a mad scramble to see. Who's gonna go with who? Yeah. And then, um, I don't know, it come down, I think, to like McNugget. Or McPhee. Or McNugget. McPhail. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, honest with you, like, I definitely wanna stay and play. Um, I definitely wanna get farther. I, t I could be in danger because I could be an easy vote, but I think it's still split in a, a needed vote. You're a fighter. I'm impressed. You're killing it. It was out from the outlet. It's complete bedlam right now. There's people going everywhere. It's like mice in a maze. They're just running all over trying to figure out who's, who's you know, aligned with who. Yeah, I know. And now it's like there's so many people. Like you can't even keep track of everyone at this point. Nobody can keep track of everyone. see you So like yeah, Charlie. Yeah, so I was like glad Charlie's not because he was the reason. Do you still have the fake idol? Yeah. Yeah, they let me bring it back in, but I'm like, I wonder how many people know it's fake. I, I assume he told everybody. I assume Andy and I, yeah. and there's no way Andy and Jenna he don't know. Yeah. Because those three were he lied. He knew I was getting. He voted with you guys, but Charlie knew I was yeah. going. He just wanted to save face with the four of you. Really, the alliance that I see right now is the black and the red coming together. Um, so that's my five, and then with the red, we're talking about Josh and Rob and Katie and Maris. And if we have that, that's nine. So then, you know, theoretically, because it's four easy votes with blue, but and that's where it would start with Andy and work its way down. But I'm trying to just like get my ducks in a row. I never talked to Paula. Like, there's people I never talked to.
Yeah. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of dramatic, I feel like. Oh, God, it's messy. <laughs> so, while I noticed a lot of the other contestants are playing very, very, very social and getting very, very personal, um, I've just been the pawn that has been there when needed for some of it, and now I finally get to emerge as actually a strategic threat. What are your thoughts on everything? Well, the way I'm looking at it right now is, from a player standpoint, Josh and Rob are big physical threats. And I would, I'm on board if we can get, or you know, Corey is too. Um, either three of those can have the ability to go straight to the end. Okay, so here's my proposal to you. Yeah. I'm very, very dumb. Yep. We need seven. Mm -hmm. We need to get Rob. Yep. And he's going like this to everybody and playing everybody. Yep. So if you're on board, yeah. we're going to roll Rob. I'm on board for that. It's gonna be a big move. If we don't do it now, oh, it's gonna get too deep. And it's gonna win. Yeah, as I said, we were trying to target the red team, um, probably Rob and Josh, because they're strong physical players and they're good at the game. So the faster we could get those out, or I could get them out of the game, the better my chances are going further in it. I have a target on my back for the actions that I've made, but I also feel like there's other bigger threats out there that need to be taken out before me, like Rob and Paula. I was like. He was with me almost the entire night because they were sleeping and resting and we were collecting fireworks. Yeah. We can pit it in the pit. So, he's a good guy. Yeah. I'm glad I got to play with him. Yeah. So, it's but a crazy, now, and, and it's I a under, crazy game. It is a it? crazy game. Yeah. So, I just don't want to hurt anybody. Yeah, no. Yeah, so. Rob was very grateful um, that most of his team was coming back. We talked about his red team and the alliances, but he also did say, hey, you know, when I talked to you at the social, I really wanted to get to know you. It would have been nice to have you in the tribe. So I don't know if that's just talk or, you know, it's just a way of just feeling out where I am. I literally just worked to Paula for like five minutes. It's like, we're really close. Who? Yeah. Like, He's a charmer. That's what yeah, he's playing he would that win. up. He'd beat us. Exactly. Yeah, I guess. It's just like we're all so solid against like a blue right now. True. That like he will never. So it's see like we're it. not getting rid of numbers. Right. Like I don't think either of us are like in jeopardy. So it wouldn't be like make it or break it. Like we have conflicting thoughts right now. Um, obviously, our original Calhoun tribe is trying to stay strong, um, but Maris and I have been thinking that Rob is just getting too strong. He's talking to literally every single person and saying that he's, you know, close with them, he has their vote, he has this person's vote. It's just like, we see what's happening and we think we might need to take him out. Just as a mayor, are you like close with anyone with the blood chart? Um, well, I was with Charlie, but that, yeah. People aren't really approaching me, it's me more so approaching them. So I feel like I'm really gonna have to work at this to stay in the game. Otherwise, I think I'll be an easy out. I mean, I'm, I'm open. I mean, I would, whatever's gonna get me to the next day, you know, so. Yeah. Uh, I kind of feel like. What? Okay. What do you think? Yeah. I don't think it's... I don't understand. You can't tell. Paris matters. Mm -hmm. No, that I is... Oh. Anything. What did you say? Anything. I thought you were going to close with me. I am. We are, but we see him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Everybody. It's just... It's... Uh, here's the thing. Like it's now or now. Mm -hmm. Um, right now, um, I don't know, we're trying to get people together to vote out Rob, it would be me, Katie, Janaki, um, and then Andy, and, um, Stephanie. Um, I, so I don't know if I can necessarily flip. But I think Caitlin might vote with the numbers, 
or she may stay loyal, but I don't think we need her vote. But I'm going to try anyway and try to flip and try to turn and twist and see what happens. So. I know. How's it going? I'm good. <coughs> How are you doing? I'm good. You made it through. Made it with through. With an all-female tribe. How yes. are you feeling? Made it here. That's, that's, that's what matters. And yeah. But, I mean, we, we were in a pretty good spot. And when we voted out Danny, that was tough. Yeah. But it made sense to, as far as where we were in the game yeah. at that time. So I think, uh, you know, now we can start working together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Move forward. Yeah. Right. We're just hoping we can kind of pool our groups together and yeah. start there and just have a, you know, some big safety in numbers and yeah. make the first that's two votes kind of easy and that's then what I would like deal from there. Conversations. There's head. It's, it's Andy. And then I can hit, hang on my idol another round, so that would be great. I literally am so confused about what's going on right now. I don't know. I mean, I've heard. I've heard things. Oh, Andy would be the target of red and black. Kind of a safe vote right now, and I think relationship building and trust building between the two tribes. Um, Andy was just kind of chosen because he did find an idol. He played it on... Um, and then voted Corey out at that time, so it just kind of seemed easy. Everyone really likes Paula, and we think that maybe we could pull her in if needed at some point. Um, Janaki still has not talked to me. I don't know if she's talked to really anybody else that is kind of aligned with me. Um, have you guys heard any other names? It's the moment I've heard the most. Janaki and Andy were at the top of my hit list because they were the two that took me out. If we can do Andy this round, I will feel good because... Are we for sure at this point? Andy. Please. What's close? Right now, I'm feeling just like, oh my god, I don't know what to do. I think that the person I trust the least is uh, Andy, just as far as, you know, I think he's clever enough, I think he's resourceful enough, he's found idols. Um, I feel pretty good about the fact that I don't think he has an idol, so I'm pushing there, but honestly at this point with 13, you know, go with this majority group, just don't rock the boat, get people out without making yourself a target, don't be too vocal, don't... Um, yeah, like I said, don't make yourself a target. That's kind of my goal. And the merge so far has been chaotic, in one word. Um, we're going to we're going to tribal right now. No. Mm -hmm. okay. Some other tribe people here that we were gonna whittle down with a you know the red tribe, but it doesn't seem that's probably in play anymore. twice as hard to make sure that doesn't happen again. Now I'm making sure people split votes. I'm, I'm double checking my conversations. I voted something different. I just heard Janaki saying it to me out because um, apparently last time when I tried to vote Andy out, like, it just spread like wildfire. And that's how Corey ended up me out because Janaki told Andy. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Sweet. Okay. Corey's like, I think he's a little worried about it don't know like what to believe and like who's tight with who and it's just like a mess. It's like you. Great, Corey. I feel like there might be an idol in play that might have some magic powers. Who knows what Brandon's up to. I feel like there'll be some, there'll be more twists and weird things going on. Oh my god, it's gonna be a sh
Superior. Welcome to your first tribal council as a merged tribe. Um, first and foremost, I am going to assign individual immunity. At the merge feast, there were two notes inside your pizza boxes. One said, the first person to walk into tribal council and the last person to walk into tribal council receives immunity. So Sandy. Caitlin. We will also introduce our first jury member, Charlie. So, there isn't a challenge. This is just a tribal council, and Caitlin and Sandy fortunately had notes inside their pizza boxes. Sandy, tell me what that felt like when you opened up your pizza box. Did you just like freak out? Did you shut it? Did you grab it? Like what did you do? I totally freaked out. <laughs> because of, you know, I opened it and I kind of looked to see if, you know, like did everybody else have a note in there? You know, like I didn't put two and two together. So I quickly tried to cover it and I happened to have my shirt next to me on the table. So I slid it up and put it under my shirt. And then I grabbed up my shirt and I left the table. So I didn't want anyone to see it. And Caitlin's surprised too, just to like freak out for a split second, like, oh my gosh. Yeah, I was the last one to sit down and everyone. <laughs> you and I both were. We yeah. both went to opposite ends. Yeah. And so just got really lucky and same, same, stuck it in my pants after. So Corey, after the merge feast, you obviously had just gotten back in the game, so were you like rekindling a bunch of relationships or forming new ones with people and like was scrambling all over the place at this new merge? Because there's 13 of you like clumped in the woods. I mean, it was definitely crazy to come back in. There were people I hadn't even met, there were people I knew from my first tribe, there were people I knew from my second tribe. I was just trying to talk to everyone, especially the people that I hadn't met because, yeah, it's about building relationships. And Brian, so he says building relationships, does that mean new people? Does that mean old people are sticking together? What's kind of the vibe of this new tribe? Is there like a lot of scrambling or is it very like, are the colors staying together? Because that's been kind of the theme, but also at the same time, a lot of the colors have been blindsiding their own colors at tribal, so. Yeah, I'd say there's a lot of scrambling. Um, you know, I, I think it's just, it's nerve wracking and, and it makes you very anxious to, to have a new group and a new dynamic. And, it's kind of like a relearning a certain level of trust with people, whether you know them or not, and being able to trust people that you haven't had to trust before. And, um, yeah, yeah, definitely it gets your attention. And McPhail, does the scrambling kind of change plans? Like, has paranoia set in where you've made a plan and then you switch it? Like, has plans switched a lot, or kind of have you guys had concrete names of the people you've worked with on who you're targeting for this? No. I think everyone's just trying to get to know the people they don't know and try to figure out who they can actually work with and who they can't. So it changes by the minute. So like Janaki, now you're at one tribe, you're one tribe, you're not two tribes, three tribes, whatever, exile, Rob. So how do you kind of navigate this game as one huge tribe now instead of little individual tribes? Just trying to build relationships with people and seeing where you can go with them. Um, again, it's just talking with people you haven't talked to before, talking to people with tri old tribe mates that you have, and just kind of either coming together as one or just really just building off of those. And Katie Meyer, has, so, that, has there, so there's 13 of you, it takes seven people to get someone out of here. Has there been like a scramble for seven votes? Has there been like a bunch of high numbers, like 12 where they're splitting? Like has there been a lot of different talks going on or is there kind of a consensus of seven here, this is what's happening or whatever? I mean, like Brian said, there was a lot of scrambling going on around camp. People were kind of trying to catch up with each other, but also, you know, strategize and they're just kind of all over the place. I, not answer the question. Alright, well we will get to the vote. Sandy up first. At this tribal council, everything will come in twos. As you already know, two people are immune, but you will all get two votes at this tribal council. And the two people with the most votes at this tribal council will both be heading to the jury.
Interesting twist. Two votes. I kind of like that. And the next one I'll repeat for my friend Corey. He got back in the game, but uh, trying to take you out of it again. It sucks um, because I knew it was coming. They told me right before we walked in that I was going to be sent home, so that really sucks. I made two big moves that were complete blindsides, and I also ended up flipping in one of my last tribals. So I kind of came off as shady and a big threat. So I think people caught on. Being voted off is never fun, um, but that's not really the reason why I'm here. The reason I was here for a charity event, and I'm very proud of how I played the game. This has been one of the best experiences of my life. Um, probably the second closest thing you can get to the actual game of Survivor. And um, I had a lot of fun. Would I do it again? Absolutely. I'm gonna read the rest of the votes. First vote, Corey. Stephanie, that's one vote Corey, one vote Stephanie. Andy. Rob. Rob, that's two votes Rob. Andy, that's two votes Rob, two votes Andy, one vote Stephanie, one vote Corey. Andy, that's three votes Andy, two votes Rob. Rob, we're tied again. Three votes Rob, three votes Andy. Andy, that's four votes Andy, three votes Rob. Andy, that's five votes Andy, three votes Rob, one vote Stephanie, one vote Corey. 
Andy. That's six votes, Andy. Andy. That's seven votes, Andy. Three votes, Rob. One vote, Stephanie. One vote, Corey. Rob. And you have four votes, Rob. Seven votes, Andy. One vote, Stephanie. One vote, Corey. Rob. Five votes, Rob. Seven votes, Andy. Six votes, Rob. Seven votes, Andy. One vote, Stephanie. One vote, Corey. Rob. We're tied again. We have seven votes, Rob. Seven votes, Andy. One vote left. The 11th person voted off for lips to give him the third member of our jury. Rob, you need to bring me your torch. I'm pretty pissed off. There's a lot of fake people in there. I'm really, there's just a lot of fake people in there. I'm really disappointed in a lot of the people. I have no idea. I just felt I just felt strong about my connections in the game, and I thought I would take the risk to further my game to make it deeper in the game. I mean, I had a blast, but I'm just pretty disappointed in some of the betrayals, like. If I, if I find out, like, some of the people who I thought were, like, super close to me, who I would never vote out, voted for me, there's not a chance in hell I'm going to vote for them. Do you have any idea of who those people might be? Yeah, I don't even want to talk, to be honest. What? Um, just last Morris, question. Morris, and... I don't know. Just really upset finding out. It sounds like the people closest to me wrote my name down, and I'm just, I don't know, I'm just really upset by it. And I don't know, I don't know. It, I just felt like the connections I had went beyond the game, and I had deep and meaningful conversations with these people, and I just feel like, I just feel like this went beyond the game, to be honest. I would have to. I would have to hear from them, and I'd have to have the the move the move completely owned. And yeah, I love Survivor. I love Survivor for sure. It was great for me just to have an escape from from everything I'm going through with the loss of my friend Eric. And yeah, it just meant so much to me. And I know he's looking down on me. So proud of everything that I accomplished this weekend. And I just hope I made him proud.